Today we're going to show you how to uh, remove the password in uh, Windows XP only. This won't work in, in Vista or Windows 7. So you have a password here, you need to shut the computer down. Okay, so I shut the computer down. Okay, then I'll turn the computer back on and wait for it to go through the BIOS. And then right after it goes through the BIOS screen, I will uh, hit F8 to go into safe mode. I'll start hitting F8 now. And you go into safe mode. You don't need networking or anything like this. And this, and this only works if uh, there hasn't been an administrator password set in, and probably 95% of the computers uh, administrator password is not set on. In safe mode at the login screen, uh, you notice uh, administrator and uh, another account pops up. Uh, you want to go to the administrator account. This is the uh, one that most people don't set a password in. Click on it and it should go in without a password. If it does, you're in luck. Click yes. And you want to go to your control panel and users. So we'll go to the start menu, control panel. And I got mine in classic view. It was the easiest for me. Uh, users accounts. Double click. And you want to go into the account, you want to remove the uh, password. It's, it's in here. Uh, it's a computer administrator, but password protected. So click on there, and then you'll you'll see a list. Uh, computer uh, change computer name, change password. You can change it, or you can go in here and re uh, remove it. It's probably the easiest thing now. Click on remove and remove, and that's all you got to do. You can uh, close out your windows, uh, shut it down, or restart. And password has now been removed. Now if you only have one account, it should go directly into uh, uh, Windows. If you have uh, multiples, you just collect uh, the user account you would, you would like and uh, it should go right in without a password. And we're in Windows. Uh, removed uh, the password without any extra software. This is our uh, video for the day. Thank you very much.